Welcome. In this video, I am going to introduce you to the concept of volumes by cylindrical shells. So here you can see we have this brown region in the XY plane. And our lower bound here is A, our upper bound here is B. And let's call this F of X. Well, say we wanted to rotate F of X about the Y axis. That would create a solid that looks like this. As you saw in warm-up two, not every function can be easily solved in terms of y. If we wanted to compute the volume of this solid using cylindrical shells, we would take this rectangle. So this is just any rectangle right there. And you'd rotate this rectangle. So as you can see, as this rotates about the y-axis, that blue rectangle forms a cylinder. That blue rectangle forms a cylindrical shell, so a hollowed out cylinder with some thickness. And we can find the volume of that cylinder, so let me sketch this cylinder out. This cylindrical shell looks something like this. So imagine you have this hollowed out cylinder with this thickness here. Well, how do we find the volume of that cylinder? So imagine taking a knife and just cutting this right here and then rolling it out. What would that look like? So if we roll out this cylinder, it looks like a rectangular prism and we know how to find the volume of this prism. We need, we need three measurements. We need this measurement, we need this measurement, and we need this measurement. Well, let's figure out what these are. That is this green, this blue, and this orange measurement. Let's figure out what those are based on this cylinder, um, based on this cylindrical shell. Because once we have that information, we can multiply those and get the volume of this cylinder. So let's start with this blue distance here. That can be found here. So that's the height of this. And that's just our function. So this height is just f of x. Okay, so now that we have that, what is this little green part? Well, this green part corresponds to this distance. And that can be here, and this is parallel to the x-axis, so that's just delta x. All right, and then finally, we have this orange distance that runs along the bottom. But remember, we sliced the cylindrical shell and unrolled it here, so this orange distance is just the circumference of this entire shell. And what is circumference? It's 2 pi r. In this case, what is the radius of this shell? Well, if you remember, here's my y-axis, and here's the x. And we rotated this rectangle to form this shell about the y-axis. So here's the origin. So the radius is, in fact, just x. That is, this is the radius of my shell. Great, that tells me that the volume of this rectangular prism is just 2 pi x f of x times delta x.